Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here with a Craftin and Stampin Design Team Smashbook page. And I am using the Wildwood book from Close to My Heart. If you've been following me, you know that I love this book. And I got it from Jessica Wilson at Craftin and Stampin, so I will put the information in the description box below. I'm just trying to decide what page that I want to use. I'm covering it up, but you will see some of the border, so I'm trying to find a page that matches with that paper. And the only reason I'm covering it up is I wanted to use that paper. It's from the Sweetness Collection by Pink Paisley. And I printed out a photo. It is five inches in diameter, and I'm cutting around the photo. I'm trying to get it fairly straight, but it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. I plan on covering it up, so if it's a little wonky, it's okay. And I'm also planning on letting it hang off the edge a little bit. Here I'm showing you one inch circles that I cut from the Cameo using another piece of paper from that same collection. That way it matched. And now I'm just marking where my circle is going to hang off. That way I can add tape right up into the edge of that. So now I'm going to use a zig two-way glue stick or glue and add just a dot of glue to each circle just to temporarily hold each circle on. And originally I was going to tuck the circles under my picture to make it look like a scallop edge, but I decided for a little more interest I was going to put it on top of the picture. Now I'm using the Wildwood Assortment Pack and it comes with journaling cards, stickers, alpha stickers, and little pockets. And it comes with quite a bit in, in it. I'll put the link to that product down in the description box as well. I am just looking for a journaling card that I think will go well with it. And this one here, I'm just cutting it apart and I'll save the rest for another project. So I tucked it under and I was really happy with where it landed. So I'm just adding a little bit of Scotch Quick Dry underneath to glue it down. And now I wanted a little bit of a scallop over on that other edge. So I'm going to add just a little bit of glue and tack those down as well. I'm drawing a little border around my journaling card just to give it a little more detail to it using my smash pen to do so. And now I took it over to my cutter and cut off the edges and I'm also showing you here that I stitched through that scallop border and then around the scallop border there as well using some white thread. So I will pull the threads through to the back side and tape them down. This is one of the things I like to do when you're adding a page to your Smashbook. It gives you the opportunity to stitch with it um, like I've done here. So I'm just taping those down to make sure that the threads don't pull back through. And then cutting off any excess threads. Now I cut out the word beauty from the Cameo and I believe I used Brie font. I just wanted a, a basic font that stood out. Tweezers I'm using are Tweezer B tweezers. They're reverse tweezers so they really work great with small when I'm gluing down small letters. Now here I had a doily in my stash so I wanted to use it but I really didn't like how it looked like that because it didn't quite fit under the circle. And there's a cameo cut out and also a cameo cut from a bow. So I decided to pleat or fold the doily and I was so happy with how it came out. It made it a little bit smaller, it gave it a little bit more dimension and it fit perfectly for what I was looking for. So now I'll just add those two cuts using my hot glue. This arrow I had in my stash and I planned on using it with the white but when I saw the yellow on the other side it really matched that yellow in the top right so I went ahead and glued it showing the yellow and now I'm just adding my journaling. 
I'm using my ruler to highlight one of the words, the word beauty in it. And my journaling just states that my grandma Lorraine always taught me to appreciate the beauty in the mountains. She lived in Chicago, so whenever she would come to Vegas, that's all she talked about is how beautiful the mountains were. And at the time I, I was, you know, I was um, raised in Vegas. So to me, that was a common sight. But now that I'm older, I really do appreciate them and I see the beauty in them. So I wanted to document that. So I'm adding some enamel dots from Teresa Collins. And here's another photo that I wanted to use a view from the front of my house of the mountains that we live right near. So I put it into the Cameo in a sh uh, shape tag, which I have a video on how I do that. Not a tag, but how I show you can do it in different um, sizes, shapes, things like that. So I'm using one of those extra circles that I had and my EK Success one half inch punch to give it the look of a reinforcement on that tag. And the bottom of that tag is from the paper collection also. So now I'm just adding my tape where I want it, placing it on my page, and then I will see exactly where my tag goes. I only placed, took the um, backing off the bottom piece of that page. That way I could see exactly where I wanted my tag, but yet my page would lay down perfectly straight. And now I'm adding some Scotch Quick Dry around the tag. That way it sits in there perfectly and adhering it down. And then I will add some seam binding to my tag so it sticks out of the page a little bit. And that's all there was to my page. So I really hope you enjoyed it. I will have links to Crafting and Stampin' down in the description box. And find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.